All right, so <clears throat> I know I've made a million like cutting of videos and stuff, but I've changed up the design just a little on my Love Soap, aka Love Spell type. Did a drop swirl in it, a little bit of a holly swirl, if you will, with a bright pink and a purple this time. And I think I might be sticking with that for a while instead of the spoon swirl, just to switch it up, you know, just to do something different. Uh, it came out really pretty. I didn't do a making of video or a cutting video for this one. But it came out really neat. So, and this is just a remake. I had done one other batch this way a while back. And, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to do like two or three more <laughs> that way. And we will be cutting today. That is my Applejack and Peel which came out really nice, nice bright red, that green down the middle, and then the white base. I had been swirling it, but I did it just flat with the, you know, a layer of red on top, kind of like you're staring down at an apple is what I was shooting for with that, which is probably silly, but it is what it is. I guess we'll come from the other end, and then I, I put a dent. From the other end, it was accident. So, when I was unmolding it, my hand slipped, put a big old finger chunk in there. So, but that'll make someone a nice little in bit piece as a sample, even with a dent in it. And this time I went no, uh, came out really pretty. No, um, what's the word I'm looking for? No glitter. I know I do a lot of glitter, ton of ton of glitter. So I've been going easy on the glitter lately. And I think I have things set up kind of backwards, but I'm working at a slightly different spot in the kitchen. Because I'm in the process of rearranging things again. Really like that. Came out really neat. Super neat. It's been a long day. I had a small craft show out in Lufkin at the first Christian church there. It was really fun. Great evening. I got to see um, a couple of vendors from the last show that I did in the area. Had a couple of repeat customers pop up, which I always love. You know, it's nice to see that they enjoy your product enough to come and find you again and all that. And of course, some new ones, which new ones are also a blast as well. Because as much as I joke about being a hermit at times, because I am stuck on the farm a lot, I really enjoy getting out, seeing new people, doing new things, going new places. I really like the way the top came out. They do have a little bit of a heat ring, but that'll cure out. It's cool in the house right now. And I had put these in the oven, but then I changed in my mind to move them. Because my husband was prowling through, and I didn't trust him not to, uh, he was in the kitchen, basically, and I just didn't trust him not to come in and try and cook something. <laughs> and it's really bad if you preheat the oven to 350 with a bunch of soap in there. <laughs> so, partial gel a little bit, but like I said, that'll cure out. Not a big deal. Doesn't affect the soap. So, and I don't know, this might be my second cutting of video for this fragrance. And I have to double check. But I really liked how it came out this time. So, did I weigh that one yet? I don't know. I try to weigh every bar as I cut it. I tend to cut just a little over five, like five one, five two, five three. That way, when it cures, it'll be just a little under five ounces. And then I price them. I actually price them. Do the math and price them at four ounces a piece. 
which I know sounds silly, but that way I feel my, uh, my customers get the best value. You know, because when they cure, you do lose a little bit of weight on them. So, I don't want someone ever to pick up a bar and think that it's supposed to weigh 20 ounces when it doesn't. So that's that. We've got things super full over here. We get those put up on the rack to cure. Might be back to make another one. Cut another one. <laughs>